Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, you may notice a little different setup on, on my floor this time. Uh, today is Nikon series part two. It's not really Nikon like the product. This product is not Nikon, but it's the series name. So today I will be reviewing, I will be completely reviewing this focus tripod that goes along with my Nikon DSLR camera. So let's get started. Alrighty. So, um, actually, actually memorized it. I had a notebook writing down all the things that I need to review in this video, but I think I have it all memorized. So the first thing I'm gonna review is the feet. If you look at this, if it stands up like just straight up and down, like you see, like you see here, it doesn't, it may stand up, but most of the time it doesn't. So the way you do this is you see these little rods here, Grab two legs and pull outward. And then you can set it down and it's completely normal. And so, and then what happens is if you want to extend the feet, there are two easy ways to do this. There's more hard ways, but I'm just gonna show you these two. So the first way you could do it is by unclipping the bottom one and then the top one so you don't have to reach down. Or, it's the other way. I can't even remember. So you basically just unclip these two clips on each one of the four feet, and that's there to mark which one was falling apart. So if you just do this, and then that, on each one of these, uh, on each one of these uh, feet, then you will have a fully functioning tripod. So that's how the uh, the legs work. Now I'm going to show you the top here like all the little screws and stuff alrighty so now I'm gonna show you all of the different little um, like the knobs and screws and stuff so if I bring this closer so the first one you notice is this big handle if you pull this out this is the platform that you put your camera on and you screw it in right here and then this little thing this little squishy thing that is just to keep to secure the camera so as well as being a handle, you can also unscrew it and that makes the transition easier. If you screw it the other way, it makes it harder. And then if I come in here, this knob, if you rotate it one way, it loosens the joint that connects that, that connects this, this to this so that your camera can pitch up and down. I'm just gonna do that for now. And then I'm not 100% sure what this one does. And then this one here, this knob makes it easier so that it's easier to rotate this around. And then this knob right here, the um, doing this or just doing like that doesn't do anything. But if you take it and you roll it up, then this neck extends so that your camera has a higher viewpoint. And then if you do it the other way, it comes right back down. So uh, that is pretty much it for the um, necks and stuff. I'm not sure what this little thing does. So now I'm going to show you how to put your DSLR camera onto here. So you may have seen in some previous videos, um, like Nikon series part one, that I have been using this Nikon D5200 DSLR camera. Okay. I do not, I lost the cap on it. Um, so basically what it, what you do is you Screw it in, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay. So I'd recommend holding the ribbon out of the way or strap, I guess. Not a ribbon. So what I'd recommend doing is either you put it on there and then just twist it, but sometimes that doesn't work. So what I would recommend doing is it goes into that little hole right there. And then you just put it on, you spin it left, you hit that click, and then you go right and that is in my opinion probably the easiest way to get it in and then you can screw it in right however tight or loose you want it and to unscrew simply just go the other way and it should either fall off or just kind of pop off all right so um let me just i don't know what this does if if i'm um, anyone out there anyone who is viewing this video right now if anyone knows, uh, any like camera experts or tripod experts, if anyone knows what this knob does right there, please comment below. And um, if you're not already an Instagram follower, 
can go there if you want to like ask me questions or comments or anything like that. Um, and please follow me so that you don't miss out, out, out on new videos. And my Instagram will be right here. So that um, is pretty much it. So now I am going to show you how I would typically set up a like my camera on my tripod. Like if I was viewing, like if I was gonna video outside. So I'm gonna do that. Alrighty, so one thing, oops, let me just adjust the camera. So one thing I just want to point out is depending on your height, like I'm like somewhere between 5'9 and like 6'1. So depending on your height, like if you're like, like about my height and I'm like, this is like maybe 45 inches or something like that. I am, that's up, it goes up to about here. So if you're taller, then I'd recommend extending the neck. So if you're so if you're taller um, and you don't want to be like this the whole time, you can always extend the neck that way that you can see it like this, and you're not going like this, like like a like a muppet or something. Um, but if you're like if you're shorter and you're like five five or something, then you could easily bring this back down to your level. So. Basically, the leg extension and neck extension is entirely too adjusted um, for your height and for your comfort. So if you're really, really short, you can always bring this down to here. But if you're like really, really tall, like, I mean, different tripods go to different heights, obviously. But for this one, this one goes somewhat high. Uh, it only goes to like here on me. And it's like a really good way to just be comfortable. And as I said, if you're shorter, you may want to like decrease the size of book, but if you're taller, you may want to like lip, like um, take this knob and just kind of raise the camera up. So, and for plane spotting, this is a really good way that you can plane spot because if you're just taking the camera and you're just shooting it, the, the camera may be really wiggly, and then you and then you just get blurry photos, even with the sport mode. But if you have a tripod, and for me, if I was only plane spotting, I've only plane spotted with the camera alone, never with the tripod. But if I come up here, and and I just and I um, this is what most plane spotters do, and then they just lift it up. You can always do this, like just take the screen out if you want to see it. Then you can always go like this, and you can just go, and then you can uh, adjust. You can in, do this as you're taking pictures, so it's smooth. So the operation of rotating the neck is smoother. And then you can switch this, and then you can always just go like this and just take pictures, basically. Okay. Um, so if you want to learn about camera operations, then go check out Nikon series part one. That is all about the, the DSLR camera and like all the functions of it. And um, one thing I did miss is if you look here, there is there are two. There's a zoom button right here and an increase button. That's to control the volume of when you are replaying videos on your camera. That is something I forgot to go over in my in Nikon series part one. Okay, and um, if you looked in the oh, that's my fault. That's the my fault. Yeah. So if you saw the description on Nikon series part one, you saw all the different parts and what they're going to be on. So part one was all about the DSLR camera. Part two, that which is this part, is all about the uh, about all about the focus tripod, and part three is gonna be all about the two camera bags that I have, and that will be in Nikon series part three. 
and Nikon series part three will be the final part of the Nikon series. So uh, that is basically it for today. So thank you all very much for watching this video. If you're not already a subscriber, go up there. And if you want to see the last video, you can head up here. And if you want to communicate with me or just follow me to, if you, so that you don't want to miss out on new videos, you can go here. And that's it for today. So thank you guys for, thank you guys for watching us, as I said. And I'll see everyone in my next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.